Aloha everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Norwegian cruise experts. And today I'm on board the beautiful Pride of America. This ship just had an incredible makeover and it is the only major US flag cruise ship in the world. It sails around Hawaii seven days a week, 365 days a year to provide a truly unique and incredible experience. Now I'm gonna take you through all the public spaces here on board. And of course we have the other rooms and suites here on our channel as well for you to check out. But before we dig into that, make sure when you're ready to book your next cruise with Norwegian Cruise Lines, Oceana or Regent, make sure you do it right on hardtravel.com or reach out to your hard travel advisor. We are your cruise experts. We know the spaces inside and out. We have an amazing relationship with the cruise lines and we know that we can help craft the cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way. Now we've started off here above the pool deck. I mentioned that this ship had a renovation. Now this ship has had quite a few major renovations over the years and the most recent was in 2001. What's unique about this particular ship is that it is the only major US flagged cruise ship in the entire world. And that's because it can't really even happen anymore. For a cruise ship to be US flagged, the majority of the crew has to be American. But on top of that, the ship needs to be built in the United States. Norwegian actually acquired this ship while it was under construction at Ingalls Yard in the United States and they had shut down the yard and were no longer able to build large cruise ships. So this ship was brought over to Germany. They finished the renovation. It got special congressional exemptions so that it can come back here and sail Hawaii year round. What's so exceptional about that is that there is no close by foreign cruise port, which means if they were gonna have to stop at a foreign port, they'd head all the way to Kiribati or to the west coast of the United States to fulfill those obligations. But they don't need to, and so you're gonna depart from Honolulu every single week. It's gonna cruise the islands for seven days, and you're gonna get nearly 100 hours of port time out of your cruise experience. In addition to that, you're gonna get some incredible scenic cruising, including the Nepali coast of Kauai, something that people pay a lot of money for to head on out on a boat and explore. So for me, the Pride of America presents a perfect combination of a phenomenal cruise experience, an amazing cruise suite experience if you're going that route. And on top of it, they know this destination better than anyone and they consistently deliver an incredible experience here in Hawaii. Now the ship itself is roughly 20 years old, but as I mentioned, it's had several major renovations. You can see behind me the pool decks in great shape there. They added a couple hot tubs. So you've got two hot tubs here. You've got two more on the far side as well. They've also added some seating areas up above looking down. So right now I'm up on deck 13. The seating areas on the side here and all of those lounge chairs that you see down below, those are on deck 12. So you can sit down there to get some sun, but also underneath on both sides, you're gonna have tables and chairs and some other seating areas. So if you want the shade, you can take advantage of that here as well. Now there's two pools right in the middle there with the hot tubs on the side, as I mentioned, and right down below me is the main pool bar. Every great pool's gotta have an awesome pool bar and this one is no exception. But I did wanna point out that the ship itself is phenomenal, but it is the crew that makes this truly exceptional. The crew members here on board the Pride of America love what they do. It is a phenomenal experience that they get to offer to you, and they love that they get to share their love of Hawaii with you every single day. Those bartenders are gonna keep the drinks flowing. They're gonna keep you smiling. There's also some pool games. You've got cornhole set up, but they also have ping pong around the sides. And they'll also do some fun cool game competitions as well. Now at the far side of the pool, you're gonna have a band stand. They're gonna have a Hawaiian band here later on as we sail away. And what you're gonna find is that true, relaxing resort and cruise style vacation experience right here on the pool deck. So we step down to deck 12. I wanted to point out the giant chessboard. The other side, they also have checkers and then they're gonna have shuffleboard all throughout. But it's also cool here, you can get an angle of the logo. Now it's the classic Norwegian logo, except for it has the American flag built in because this is part of the Hawaii American experience that Norwegian offers. Previously, they had some other ships in addition to this that were supplementing it. I hope they do again at some point, but to me, this is what it's all about. So you've got the bar down below me, as I mentioned. You can see a little bit more of the pool deck here as well. So you've got the shaded areas underneath on the far side. Of course, they've got the speakers and the lights because in the evening, they're gonna transform this entire space into a whole nother concept. 
It's a very dynamic entertainment zone, so they're gonna utilize the pool deck throughout your experience here on board. Now, I did wanna point out that up above the pool deck, there's several sun deck areas, so you've got some chairs and some loungers as well that you can take advantage of. Now, as we head forward, you're gonna run into the Key West Bar and Grill. Now, what this is, is this that classic combination of a pool bar and, of course, a grill. So on this far side here, you're gonna see several different seating options. You've got table, high top tables, like pub style. You also have some large tables and then also some smaller ones as well. There's this great little seating area that I love that they've updated here, looking out over the pool if you wanna get a little people watching. And in addition to that, you can get great music as well. Now, right in the middle, the heart of it is of course, the Key West Bar. They're gonna provide bar service for this entire area. So that's gonna include all the lounge chairs around. They'll come around and take care of that for you. And then on the far side, you're gonna find the grill. This is where you'll find classic Americana, hot dogs, hamburgers, and of course, some of your Hawaiian favorites as well. So this is a fast casual option where you can grab some food, hang out with some friends, and of course, enjoy the bar experience. So we just went up from the Key West Bar and Grill, and now we're at the Sun Deck area. Now up here, you have quite a few options. They've got these really comfy loungers up here looking down. You're also gonna have cabanas wrapped all the way around that you can utilize. There's different lounge style seatings like you'll find here. And then you have more lounge style seating all the way around. Now there's steps up here. That part of the sun deck is all gonna be loungers. Of course, it's in the direct sun. There's no shade up there. But if you do love the sun, there are plenty of spots for you up here. Now, as we head further forward, you're gonna see that there's more cabanas on the side. And then as we wrap around and head on up, we'll get to the forward sun deck. Now, what's great about that is they will set up chairs up there for you to utilize as you like. You can see a few more here as well. But this ship does some incredible scenic cruising. Now, being at the top front of the ship is a perfect spot for that, whether you're seeing Kilauea and some eruptions that are happening, something that you can see from time to time, that lava flow. In addition to that, the incredible Nepali coast as well that you'll cruise by. But any of that scenic cruising, this is the perfect spot for that. Or if you just want to lay out, lounge, and catch a few rays. Now, set just after the Ocean Drive bar, you're going to find a really unique space here. It's the conservatory. To be honest with you, I still can't quite figure out exactly what it's for, but I'll tell you what my family uses it for. This is the ultimate sewing room. My wife loves it. You've got several different styles of chairs, some really nice ones on the side there. And what you're gonna have is a ton of light coming in. There's a couple fans up above and you do get some views out, but you're looking at the back of the bar there. I wouldn't be surprised if this was repurposed at some point. Now at the aft of the ship, you're gonna find a great adults only space. Right behind me, you're gonna find the Oasis pool. So what's great about this is they've upgraded all the furniture around here. You've got those extra soft padded loungers. They go all the way around the side here. So you've got singles and doubles. If you step down a half deck, you've got more of those as well in addition to a hot tub. And then just up behind me is the Waikiki bar. Now this is a fantastic space where you can escape. And of course, with those aft facing views, it's an incredible place to relax while you're here on board. You're gonna have the full bar service up there. They'll extend it all the way down here as well. And then up top at the bar, you're gonna have lounge style seating, tables for two, four, and larger. You've got pub style seatings on the side and tucked right around the corner is actually one of the smoking areas. Now on deck 12 and 13, you're gonna have a ton of open air spaces towards the aft of the ship as well. So we're up on 13 now, 12 is right below me. But I wanted to take a minute to talk about why this is such a great way to see Hawaii. A lot of people do come, they'll stay in a hotel. They usually visit one island. Maybe you'll do a little bit of island hopping and going to a couple of them. But of course that involves packing, unpacking, taking flights, taking ferries and things along those lines. What makes this so exceptional is that you truly get to experience Hawaii. With 96 plus hours in port and overnight, you're gonna get to do all of those cool excursions. If you wanna do Haleakala, first thing in the morning where you head on up, enjoy the sunrise and then bike on down. That's an excursion that they offer. In addition to that, you can do so many great dining experiences on the island, just like you can do on the ship as well. What I love about it is you really get to dig into the culture. You get to see new and different things every day. And if you want a little bit more time in Hawaii, make it a back to back, or we've booked a couple back to back to backs where you really get to dig in and see so much more than in visit just one island. Now at the very top after the ship, you're gonna find the sport court. What you'll see is it's a full-size basketball court. You can play soccer up here, pickleball, lots of different options. Now growing up, my dad was a high school basketball coach, one of the winningest in high school 
history in California. And uh, my brother and I both played for him, so we always had to come up and practice our free throws, our shots, and then of course we had a ton of fun playing tournaments with others on board. They'll utilize this for some organized sports. You can come up when you want. And another fun thing is a lot of times you'll see the crew members up here at night playing some soccer. But let's see if I've got anything left in the tank. Ah, not too bad. Let's see if the bank's open today. Oh, it's closed. Oh wait, what? Oh, you know what? It's Saturday late in the afternoon. That makes sense why. Now there's some pretty incredible excursions that you can do here while you're on board. And one of them is to take advantage of some of the best golf courses in the entire world. They've got this little putting green up here. You know, a lot of cruise ships do have a full miniature golf course, but what's great about this, there's no sign, so I can make it par whatever I want. Let's see what we got here. Yep, that's definitely a par four. Mm-hmm. Yep, that too. There we go. All right, look, wait for it. Still a birdie and an eagle, why not? So now we're inside the video arcade and it's a really nice large arcade for a ship this size and all the games are new. Now I love the Jurassic Park one in the corner there. My nephew and I played that a lot on our last Norwegian cruise. And then as you go around, you've got all the claw games, the racing games, basketball, several different kinds of air hockey, and well, just a lot of fun to be had. Now keep in mind that this does come at an additional cost. You're definitely gonna wanna have that conversation with your kiddos or your adult kiddos like me before you get on board. But keep in mind, you can also restrict what they can spend here, or you can purchase the unlimited arcade pass. So now we're inside the Aloha Cafe. This is the main casual buffet style dining room here on board. And of course you have all of that incredible Hawaiian decor continuing throughout. In fact, got my surfboard here. Let's see if I can do that handstand. Oh, oh, ah, I think I nailed it. Well, we'll see, I'll get back to you. Now, as we head into the main part of the cafe, I just wanted to point out a really cool feature. They have a kid's cafe right here. I know for my family, it's perfect. You've got the shorter size there so the kiddos can see what's on there. And then they're also gonna have family-friendly food items. You've got a ton of seating as we walk in here on the side. And then as you walk in, it actually opens up and you're gonna have it the whole width of the ship. So we've got some more seating areas here. And the first stop is the beverage station. So this is where you're gonna be able to take advantage of quite a few options from your beverage package here. You've got bottled water, wines and things, but I wanted to point out a very important feature before we go any further. It's not quite open yet because you're getting ready to turn over for lunch, but you've got my best friend here, the most important part of the ship, the soft serve ice cream. This is also where you can get some orange juice. I love that freshly squeezed orange juice. It's usually part of the upgraded package or you can purchase it. Now, as we head into the middle, what you're gonna find is a very classic buffet setup. There's buffet stations all around. I love the fruit stand here. That's a little bit different than some. And of course, you're gonna take advantage of all those delicious, freshly grown tropical fruits from here in the islands. You're gonna have all the different stations, a bit of redundancy. So they're gonna turn it over for breakfast, lunch, and dinner each and every single day. And the hours are pretty expansive. They're usually open for three to four hours at mealtime. For somebody that sleeps in like me, I really appreciate that. So you can see you've got one of the food stations here. You've got a carvery and food station right here in the middle. And then there's redundancies all the way along the far side as well. Right here in the middle is where you're gonna find the grill. So they're gonna have pizzas. In fact, you got the pizza ovens right there. You'll have hot dogs, hamburgers, things like that to order. For breakfast, it's where you're gonna find the egg and omelet station where they can make those to order as well. Now I know one of Taylor's favorites is here's where you're gonna find the made to order pasta station. So you pick the sauces, the type of pasta, and they'll mix and match and make that for you on demand. Now, as we continue, we're actually heading back forward on the ship just for a second to show you have all these buffet lines on this side. There's a one on the far side as well there. And then right here in the middle is one of the beverage stations. Now there's several of them in here. This is what you're gonna find around the ship. They're complimentary. You can grab tea anytime you'd like. Of course, you're gonna have coffee. They've got decaf and caffeinated drip coffee there. And one of my favorite little touches, hot chocolate. My daughter and I love to stop by here and have a late night hot chocolate treat and maybe even scrounge up some of those fantastic marshmallows. You've got milk station here, so you can utilize that of course for breakfast, but if you're traveling with family, you may wanna fill up on milk throughout the day. You're also gonna have these Nessie Vitality stations. So these are complimentary. Right now for lunch, they set it up with cranberry juice cocktail, lemonade and iced tea, but for breakfast, you might find apple juice, orange juice, grapefruit juice, things along those lines. Now, continuing along, it's gonna be the same, 
But I love the idea that in this buffet, there is a ton of redundancy. You have quite a few options. You can come in, grab and go. There's some made to order options for you as well. Now, an extension of the Aloha Cafe is the Aloha Lanai. Now, it's a really nice large space. Personally, my favorite spot on any cruise ship is the aft of the ship. And I love the idea that you can grab your food, head on out here and enjoy. But in addition to that, you're also gonna have a full bar. You've got bar style seating on the far side. And then of course, all of these tables and chairs set up for two and four. Of course, you can put them together for a larger family group as well. But what's great is you can head up here anytime, maybe grab a cocktail, watch the beautiful scenery as you cruise around the Hawaiian Islands. And of course, enjoy that beautiful view of the US flag. Now, the reason that that's unique is that this is a US flag ship. There's so much that goes into it that this is literally the only major large cruise ship in the entire world that's US flag. The ship was at least partially built in the United States. The crew members are mostly American. There's a lot of bits to that, but to me, all of that puts it together for an incredible Hawaiian cruising experience. Just aft of the Aloha Cafe, you're gonna find Moderno Churrascaria. This is a classic Brazilian steakhouse concept. They do have quite a few of their other ships as well. So they did a massive renovation of this space as well. You see all the brand new furniture, all the new upholstery and the decor. And what you're gonna find here is that Brazilian steakhouse setup where right in the middle, they're gonna have a nice large salad bar. You'll have small bites, tapas style, things along those lines where you can come and grab and go and make your own. I love that they have the open kitchen concept just behind because that's where they're gonna be cooking the meats. And that's what this experience is about. It's all about the meats. It's a carnivore's delight. What they'll do is they'll bring the meats on the equivalent of swords out here and they'll cut it up for you right table side. So you're gonna get a little thing that's red on one side, green on the other. And the great news is, is as a kid, I played red light, green light all the time. So I know exactly what to do. You just always leave it green and the meat just keeps on coming. But keep in mind, there's quite a few different options. So don't stock up too much on the first one that comes your way because you're gonna be delighted with a lot of different special options there. So you'll see this side is identical to the other side as well. You've got tables for two by the windows, four, six, and then they have the booth style seating wrapped all the way around. But once again, behind me, this is what it's all about. This is where they're gonna be cooking. And as soon as you walk in the door, you get that incredible scent of all the different foods and you're sure to get hungry. Now, one of the most popular specialty dining options here on board is La Cucina Italian Restaurant. You're gonna find this throughout the NCL fleet. And quite frankly, you're gonna find an Italian restaurant at just about every all-inclusive resort and cruise ship in the entire world because who doesn't love Italian food? As I mentioned, it is specialty, so you will pay an additional fee, or you can utilize your specialty dining package that comes as part of the free at sea. Of course, your hard travel advisor will be able to guide you through all of that. What you're gonna find in here from seating wise is you have these great booth style seatings. You've got tables for two and four, and then they also have some higher bar top style seatings as well right around the corner. As I head further in, you do have a lot of tables that are right on the window, so you can take advantage of those beautiful views as you cruise around Hawaii. And here for dining, you're gonna find all of your favorites. I love to start with a good caprese salad. I love those delicious pastas, and of course, the meat dishes as well. But if you love Italian food, you're definitely gonna wanna reserve a time here at La Cucina. So now we're headed into the Splash Academy. This is the area dedicated to the littlest kiddos here on board, all the way up to 12 years old. Now at different times, they're gonna segment the program differently depending on how many kids and also the day and where you are. But I wanted to point out the check-in area here. This is really critical to know. One of the things that you absolutely need to do the very first day, if you have kiddos traveling, is come on up here. You're gonna be able to check it in. And then from here, they're gonna be able to answer all of the questions about the kids club, about the hours, but it's also where you're gonna set it up to see who can drop off and pick up the kiddos. I know when I travel, especially with my parents or friends and family, we authorize each other for our kids so that maybe my wife and I are having a delicious steak dinner in Cagney's. My dad could come up and pick up or drop my daughter or son off. Now, this is the safe and secure area. So this is actually locked here and you're not gonna be able to pick up the kiddos if you're not on that list. I just wanted to point that out. It's very important. Now, as we head into the main part of the space, it's set up in a large open space, but it can also be segmented up into the different age groups. You'll see that they have cabinets all along this area, which is where you're gonna find an absolute ton of different materials. They're gonna keep your kids happy and active the entire cruise. 
So in there, you're gonna find different arts and crafts, you're gonna find different games, and they're gonna utilize all of that throughout your time here on board, because I know as an educator myself, I taught middle school for over a decade, that if every member of the family is engaged and having a great time, it's gonna be a perfect family experience. But just like the rest of the ship, all the different items that they have, the games, the arts, the crafts, none of it is nearly as important as the incredible crew. The staff here loves working with kids. They all have a background in child development, and they're here to make sure that your kids have an unbelievable time. Now, just off the side, they have another part of the Splash Academy. Once again, it depends on the crews, what the space is utilized for. Right now, they're using it as a gaming room, so you can come in, play all kinds of different video games, but also sometimes they utilize this space for the tiniest cruisers. Now, of course, all of this is dedicated to the younger kids. Let's go check out the Entourage Teen Center. So now we're inside the Entourage Teen Club, and we all know that the hardest people to please on this entire cruise is always the teenagers. They've dedicated an enormous amount of space to teens, and I really appreciate that. So over here in the corner, you have the dance floor video game zone. So you see you've got the TV over there, they've got it set up to play some games. You've got the lounge style seating wrapped all the way around, and then up above, you're gonna have all the different lights. In fact, I chaperoned a few middle school dances. I can see everybody sitting to the side. No, I'm just kidding. They're, they're gonna have a great time with their friends in here. You've got all this different furniture that can kind of move around and chill as they'd like. You've got a really nice air hockey table that's complimentary. You've got your foosball table over here, and then more of that lounge style seating, and then you've got the bean bags where you can sit and watch a movie. Now, all along here, you're gonna find an enormous amount of games. So they're gonna do a lot of different game options in here, arts, crafts, different kinds of competitions as well. And as we head over to the side, you can see they have the Nintendo Wii, and they have quite a few different video gaming system and a ton of games to play. Now, at the very front, you're gonna find it used to actually be like a mocktail style bar. Now it's really the entryway. Once again, you're gonna to need to come up here the very first day, get the kiddos all set up, and you can even set it up where they can check themselves in and out of the team program. Now, one of the spots here on board that saw some major updates and renovations is the Mandara Spa and Salon. So we've started off right here in the entryway. One of my recommendations is to head up here on boarding day. You're gonna be able to get a tour of the spa and you're gonna learn all kinds of unique information so you can pick the perfect treatment for yourself. Now, as we walk through the space here, we're gonna start off in the salon. Now, just inside here, you're gonna see that you have salon stations. Looks very much like a salon you would find at home. You've got the hair stations here, the hair washing station right in the middle. And then you'll also see that they have a partnership with Kerasys in Paris. They use the top quality ingredients throughout your time here, whether you want a revolutionary new hairstyle or you just want to get done up to head out and enjoy a night on the town here on the ship or one of your overnight stops on the islands. Now you'll see you have another set of hair stations here with the hair washing in the middle and then right along you're going to find your manicure station. Just behind that you'll find the area for pedicures and what I personally love, I'm a big guy, I'm 6'6", the bulls are big enough for my size, 15 feet. You've got all those great massage functions here. So you can have an incredible spa day at sea. But it's more than just this. Let's head on back and check out the relaxation room, the treatment rooms, and of course, the newly upgraded thermal suite. Now, one of the first stops on your spa journey is the relaxation room. When you check in, you're gonna get your robe, you'll go ahead and change, and then you'll come in here for just a few minutes. It's gonna allow you to fill out any paperwork so you can let your therapist know exactly what you like, you don't like what you're looking for. But more than that, it's a place to get in that zen mindset. You can sit here relaxed, they have relaxing music on, they'll have teas and infused waters, cold towels and things like that over to the side. And then you'll head on out and start your journey. And oftentimes you might finish here as well. Now on either side of the ship, you're gonna find the men's and the ladies changing rooms. So we started off here, we're in the ladies. Once again, it's the same on the other side here. You've got all your towels that you can utilize. And then just through here, you're gonna find the lockers and showers. So you've got the full showers here. You can see all the beautiful renovations. And then just behind here, you're gonna find the locker room. So you'll leave your items here, you'll put your robe on, and then you'll head on out and start enjoying the entire experience. Now, something that's fantastic that they added during the renovation is on both sides, you're gonna find a steam room and a sauna. So here to the left is the sauna itself. It's actually a really nice, large space. It's a pretty big space. And once again, this part is unisex. And then as we head right around the corner, you're gonna find the steam room. Once again, the redundancies, this is unisex. So you have the same thing on the gentlemen's. And then as we head further through, we're gonna get to the relaxation room. 
Now, one of the things that you do need to know is to utilize all this space, there is an additional cost. You can purchase a pass for the entire cruise, and it's something that my wife and I often choose to do. Now, this space didn't exist at all before the renovation, and I love what they've done with it. Just behind, you're gonna find infused waters, teas, things along those lines. And then you have these fantastic hot stone loungers. Now I've had back problems for quite a while after going out and having an incredible day on a shore excursion to be able to come back here, sit, relax. It's heated all the way from the bottom to the top. In fact, a lot of these chairs on other ships, it's just heated right around the back, but I can feel it my legs all the way up, sit back and relax. And we're just inside the couple's treatment room here. And I wanted to start there because one of my favorite things to do on vacation is for my kiddos to go enjoy the kids club and my wife and I to come get a nice relaxing massage. Now, if you do a couple's treatment, you can both choose the same thing or you can choose something different. And of course, the solo treatments are very much the same, just with the one bed. Now you're gonna be able to get all kinds of treatments here, whether you like a wrap or a facial. Of course, my favorite is the, the hot stone massage or the deep tissue, especially after a nice long flight from the mainland. But in this particular space, you're also gonna find a really nice large shower. You also have a soaking tub as well. But whatever treatment it is that you prefer, my high recommendation is to book those right away because they will fill up, especially at the time when you're at sea or of course, well, towards the end of the cruise when everybody wants to relax. Now we're inside the Pulse Fitness Center and it's actually a really large gym for a ship this size. All along the windows on this side, you're gonna find a ton of cardio. So you've got all of the different treadmills. Over on the far side, you've got ellipticals and some stair steppers as well. Just across, you're gonna find some rowing machines. And one of the things that I love with NCL, it's the little touches that make the difference. Right here, you've got those cold towels you can utilize anytime you want. And it's great after working out to have a nice refreshing cool off. Now, as we head around the corner, you've got all your different circuit equipment here in the middle, so you can do any kind of workout that you'd like. You're gonna have towels that you can utilize throughout, and of course, refresh those. And then as we continue to the far side, you're gonna find the Smith machine, barbells, dumbbells, and then they also have balancing balls as well for you to utilize. Right here in the middle, you've got more of those circuit equipment here, so you can see you can get a full workout. But in addition to that, they also have their aerobic studio. Let's head on in. Now, one thing that I did wanna point out is that you can come up and utilize the aerobic studio anytime it's not in use. So you've got those foam rollers. I use those all the time when I'm traveling. You've got different styles of medicine balls, kettle balls, and then you also have your yoga mats and blocks. Just behind me, you'll see the spin bike. So they do offer spin classes. The classes in here do come at an additional cost. So we wanna head by here the first day, check it out and learn all about the different options. Now, another thing I wanted to point out, they've got the hooks up in the, the roof here for TRX. They're gonna have all kinds of different exercise opportunities. And then you've got the mirrors wrapped all the way around. Oh, wait, we're filming. All right, so now we're inside the Mardi Gras nightclub and cabaret. So what it is, is exactly that. I'm on a major dance floor right here. And just behind me, you're gonna have a full stage. So they'll have bands in here. Sometimes they'll do special activities. You can do things during the day, maybe learning how to make lays, learning some cultural items or doing lectures and things. You can think of it as a bit of an extension of the Hollywood theater, but it's its own space. So it's a massive amount of space for a nightclub. You can see all the lounge style seating, it's tiered behind me. So you've got tables along the dance floor here and chairs. You also have the next set of booths and then up behind it, you have even more booths and tables and chairs. Now all along the wall, you're gonna find Mardi Gras masks. You'll see the jazz musicians, a lot of homage to the city of New Orleans itself. So as you know, throughout the entire ship, everything's themed for a major US attraction or city. Now we're in New Orleans for a little bit of nighttime fun. Now in partnership with Park West Galleries, you're gonna find the Soho Art Gallery here on board. What I love about this is it's a little bit of a museum, a lot of education, and you can also have some fun as well. They're gonna be able to answer all your questions about the art in here. They're gonna have art auctions as well where you can get some great pieces. In fact, a lot of our customers do go on board and come back with art time and time again. So you can stop by here with the family, maybe just do a little bit of perusing. You can participate in one of the art auctions as well. So what you'll see is they have different medias here. So you've got some of our favorites from Brito, who happens to be a friend of the agency. And then just behind here, you're also gonna find Godard. I see some Peter Max, some Kincaid, looks like Howard. I think there's a couple other over there as well. But essentially what I love about this, like I said, is you can stop by any time, you can learn a little bit about the art, or you can just enjoy the view. Now, one thing that you're seeing disappearing on cruise ships are libraries and card rooms. And I love that they have one here. They've got a ton of games that you can check out, borrow, of course, 
if you're up for a game of Trivial Pursuit and you see me on board, you let me know, it's game on. But you've got backgammon set up, checkers and chess, and it's also a place just to stop by and have a bit of fun with friends. So now we're inside the SS America Library, and what you're gonna find is an incredibly extensive library and a mini museum as well. I love that they have a library this big. In fact, some of my favorite books I've ever read in my life, I picked up at a cruise ship library, not necessarily having any expectations, and absolutely fell in love. Now, a little bit of that museum aspect, you've got the SS America right here. Now, there's a lot of legacy here in Hawaii for the American cruise lines, specifically United States lines. And of course, this ship was actually purchased from them when it was under construction and transitioned over to Norwegian Cruise Lines. Now, I love the model there. You've got a ton of games that you can borrow and check out. Once again, a massive reference library, also some great fiction and nonfiction as well. Now, as we head further in, you can see what I'm talking about. It is a huge library. The books wrap all the way around here. You see more in the reference section here as well. And then they also have a small internet cafe. Now, something else that's really cool there is that you're gonna have a few more museum exhibits here. There's a ton of history in Hawaii. There's a ton of history with the United States lines and of course, with the Pride of America. Now, something that interests you in Hawaii is going to the chapel and you're gonna get married. This is the spot for you. You have their own chapel here on board. They'll also do services in here and it'll also be used as a meeting room as well. So you've got some flowers on the entry and then you've got the altar up front here, some beautiful art pieces as well. Now, one of those classic spots on almost every single cruise ship is the promenade deck. It goes all the way back to the old days where people would sit here and promenade around and enjoy the beautiful ocean views. And this is no exception. I love the idea that you can use this as a walking track. You can come on out here and of course they're gonna set up the chairs so you can have nice loungers, relax and take advantage of the gorgeous views. In addition to that, outside the American Diner, they'll also set up some outdoor dining space. So whatever it is you're doing, whether you grab a book, a cocktail or a cup of coffee, you can sit out here or walk around and enjoy everything that the beautiful state of Hawaii has to offer. Now, a fantastic option for pre or post dinner drinks or just to come and relax is Pink's Champagne Bar. It's also a place where you can sneak away. I know my wife likes to use it for sewing because you do have windows on both sides with the promenade deck there. So you've got lounge style seating all around, tables for two and four, and then you have larger social gathering areas right here. Right in the middle, you're gonna have the dance floor. You've got the piano, so they're gonna be doing nice music here. Once again, pre-dinner, post-dinner, or throughout your time here on board, where you can come on up and cut the rug. Now, just behind me is Pink's Champagne Bar itself. You can see it's a really nice large bar. They've got a wide variety and assortment of beers, wines, and of course, hard liquor. And you can take advantage of the drink package. Now, that's still a relatively new thing here in Hawaii. Previously, that wasn't able to be able to be sold or integrated. So I love that you can get the premium beverage package here on board. Now, another feature of Pink's is that it overflows down into the Capitol Atrium down below. You can see the grand staircase behind me. We're gonna have some incredible music here in just a few minutes, ready to get Hawaii off to a great start. Now we're inside the Cadillac Diner. This is an homage to American food. What you'll see is it's set up like a 1950s diner, and it's similar to what you'll find around the rest of the fleet with the local. It's generally open 24 hours a day, and it is complimentary. So you're gonna find all of your favorite classics, different kinds of salads and burgers and wings. In fact, I've been known to eat my weight in wings here on board a seven day cruise, especially those, well, anyway, I'm not gonna give my secrets away. They're all pretty incredible there. But what you're gonna find in here is the classic burgers, fries. You've got some plate lunch style like you're gonna find all throughout Hawaii. They also have a blue plate special each and every single day, but there's lots of different options. And once again, whether you want a burger at two in the morning or you want that fantastic made to order breakfast in the morning, this is that spot for it. Now, one of the great casual bar options here on board is the Napa Wine Bar. It's exactly what it sounds like. They have a huge collection of wines. Now, if you're a vinophile, you're absolutely gonna love it. And they're gonna have great sommeliers and bartenders here that can guide you through the tasting process. And of course, they're also gonna have tastings in here. What I find this space utilized the most for is a place to gather before or after dinner. Of course, you can utilize it throughout the day as well, but you'll see here you have some fantastic lounge style seating up front, right down the side here, you're gonna have more lounge style seating with a large sofa and chairs. And then right along the bar, you're gonna have bar service. Now it's set just in front of Cagney Steakhouse, so it's very classic to come down here, have a nice glass of wine, and then head on in and enjoy a delicious steak. 
Now, if you love a great steakhouse, you're gonna absolutely enjoy Cagney's. This is the most popular specialty dining option here on board, and it is what it says it is. It's an unapologetic steakhouse with some delicious cuts of meat. You're gonna have some fantastic options as far as appetizers. I love to start with that ahi tuna tartare. There's just something perfect about being here in Hawaii with that. Of course, they've got the crab cake and the shrimp cocktail. And then as you progress through the menu, you're gonna find all of your steakhouse favorites and sides. Now for a steak, for me, it's definitely gonna be the tomahawk. It's got two of my favorite cuts on there. It's bone on, which means it's gonna be absolutely delicious as well. Now, in addition to being a specialty restaurant that you can take advantage of for dinner, this is where they do breakfast and lunch each and every single day here for the suite guests on board. So if you're in a full suite, one of those fantastic amenities is you're gonna have a special a la carte, highly upgraded breakfast and lunch each and every single day. As you would expect, there is a ton of fantastic complimentary dining options here on board, and this is the main dining room. You can take advantage of breakfast, lunch, and dinner here virtually every single day. And it's where you'll gather together with the family, friends, or of course, make new friends. Now, this being the Pride of America, this is where you're gonna see a ton of Americana in here. In fact, the drapes are like American flags. You've got statuary from the likes of Abraham Lincoln right here. And then all the way around, you're gonna find great figures from American history. In fact, it's a little bit like being at Hamilton. You've got Lafayette right back there as well. Now, as we continue through the space, one of the things that I wanted to point out is I love the idea about dining on a cruise ship because you can try lots and lots of new things. They're gonna have all of your favorite classics, shrimp and steak and chicken and fish, but you're also gonna be able to try new things. Now you have seating all the way around. There is some in the back as well. And then right here in the middle, you're gonna find the largest table. So you've got a table for 12 here and then all around you've got booths and tables, two, four, six, or eight. Now, where I was going with that is for some of my favorite meals that I have now, some of the favorite things that I love to eat, I first tried on a cruise ship because maybe I wasn't willing to try them when I was on land, maybe at a restaurant where you have to pay a la carte. The idea to come on here, try lots of new things, and of course, gather together to make memories that last a lifetime with friends and family. Now, I mentioned that we're in the Liberty Dining Room, which is the upper level. Now, this particular one is the more formal of the two dining rooms. So you do need to have long pants, collared shirts, things along those lines to dine here. But one of the great options about this ship is there's so many great casual options as well. In fact, right below us is Skyline, and that's the more casual version of the very same thing. Now we headed down into the Skyline restaurant. I did wanna point out that both restaurants do have a grand piano, so they'll be playing music, have some fantastic ambiance in here for you. Now, as we head further back, it's very similar to up above. What's very different is, of course, the decor. The skyline that they're referring to, of course, is New York City. And then right behind me here is the captain's table. So they have one up above, they have them down below as well. Now, all along the walls, what it looks like to me is the Empire State Building. So you've got all the different decor that models that. In fact, they even have the, the gargoyles that kind of stick off the side of the building over on the side there. And what you're gonna find is you also have tables all around the sides where you can dine looking out the window. But whoever you're choosing to dine with, whether it's solo, with a friend, with family, you're gonna meet new people here, you're gonna have some delicious meals, you're gonna to get to break bread together and create those incredible memories. Now, one of the things that a lot of people do when they're on a cruise is they dream about their next cruise, and that's what the Cruise Next Desk is all about. You can stop by here and purchase certificates. They're actually gonna give you onboard credit right away to offset a bit of the certificates, and then you can utilize that to make your next cruise on board. Now you can do it here or as soon as you get back, just let us know. And of course, we can utilize any of the Cruise Next certificates wherever they were purchased, whichever ship, and then we can make that happen for you. Now I love this sign behind me, Norwegian Prima. We just saw her in the shipyard and I'll be cruising on her on the very first sailing in just a few weeks. You're gonna wanna check out that video as well too. The evolution of this brand is amazing. Now we're inside another one of the classic specialty restaurants here on board. It's Jefferson's Bistro. Now on the other Norwegian ships, you'll find Le Bistro, and it's very much the same thing. It's all about French fine dining. You want some coca vin, you want some fantastic duck, escargot, of course they have all of those classics here, but it's a really elevated menu that is delicious. Now I love the idea that you have Jefferson's Bistro right next to John Adams Coffee Bar. If you go back in American history, these two gentlemen not only started the first two political parties, they were presidents one after the other, and they actually both died on the same exact day 
50 years to the date of signing of the Declaration of Independence. It was in 1826 on the 4th of July. Their history is tied together, and I love that they've done that here on board the ship as well. Now, the decor in here is very classic French, I would say, with a bit of Americana. So it's a unique decor, but of course, a very French menu. Set up behind, you're gonna have these really beautiful classic booth style seating. So you can sit there and look out. And then you'll also have tables for two by the windows, tables for four and six, and they can put it together to join a larger group. Now it's a very popular option here on board. It's not a massive restaurant. It's very intimate, very elegant. You're definitely gonna to wanna to pre-book that and take advantage of your dining package, expanding it, or of course you can purchase a la carte. Now you might wonder why is this Jefferson's Bistro and not Washington's Bistro? Well, this is Jefferson's Bistro because of course, Thomas Jefferson's relationship with France. He was a big part of getting the Marquis de Lafayette and of course all of the help that we got during the American Revolution to win it. And in addition to that, he was America's first ambassador to France. He spent a lot of time in France and really cultivated that relationship. You could say he's a Francophile and oftentimes at Monticello, which is his home in Virginia, he would serve French food. And I can imagine the meal here is going to be delicious as well. Now we're inside East Meets West, which is a really cool three-in-one Asian dining experience. Now you're gonna have three restaurants here, including the Asian Fusion Restaurant, have all kinds of delicious choices to choose from. It's kind of a fusion of a little bit of Japanese, Chinese, a little bit of Thai here and there, and some California cuisine and Hawaiian. And what I love about that is Hawaii is a melting pot. You're gonna find so many different cultures and their food as part of Hawaiian culture as well. This is a great place to experience that. Now you've got booth style seating, tables for two, four. They can put them together for larger groups. And then as you head around the corner, you'll find the sushi bar. Now I love sushi. You might find me here for pre-dinner sushi or post-dinner sushi, or sometimes just sushi for dinner as well. I absolutely love it and I know you will as well. Now you've got this traditional sushi bar set up here where you can interact with the chefs. Of course, they're world-class. They'll make some delicious options. And in addition to that, you can take advantage of the sushi menu while you're dining in the rest of the restaurant as well. I love the surf and turf roll and also the California futamaki roll. There's some great options here. You're sure to find the perfect one for you. Now, another amazing Norwegian dining experience is teppanyaki. Let me take you in and show you what that's all about. Now, the thing that my family loves about teppanyaki is it's dinner and a show. It's highly interactive and very entertaining. Of course, the chefs are gonna keep you smiling and laughing, and of course, making delicious food throughout the entire experience. So you can see here, you have four different tables that can hold up to eight. So you definitely wanna pre-reserve this. This is probably the most popular option on board when you consider how much space there is. You've got the grills there. The chefs are gonna rock and roll, sing along with you, maybe even toss a little shrimp and make everybody's favorite fried rice in addition to some great vegetarian options. And then of course you've got seafood options and steak and chicken to choose from. Whatever you choose here, it's a great interactive experience. And I know you and your family will have a great time. Now I'm right here in the middle of the Capitol Atrium. And this is where you see the incredible homage to America. Once again, being the only American flagship, this is such a cool touch. So here you have this beautiful grand staircase as you would find on the old ocean liners of the past. It actually has the Washington Monument popping up just behind it there. So you can imagine this is a fantastic spot for photos. And it's also where they'll have music playing, especially upon arrival. Now, as we look around this space on the far side, you're gonna find the shore excursions desk. As always, shore excursions are a huge part of the experience, especially here in Hawaii. And so my high recommendation is that you pre-book your shore excursions before you get here on board. But of course, they can answer your questions, help you with booking, or maybe you need to make some changes. Because this ship only does one itinerary, they all know all of the excursions, they're incredibly knowledgeable, and they've done most of them themselves. Now, one of the signatures of this ship is right here in the middle, the Great Seal of the United States of America. Though I don't see any seals on there. Do you, Taylor? It's kind of odd, but anyway. Of course, you've got the Great Seal of the US. You've got all the states all the way around. It's got the date that they joined the Union. And right over there, well, I'm a California guy, so 1850, was there something happened in the, that, that time in California? Anyway, right here is the Grand Atrium. It's where you're gonna find guest services, the onboard credit desk, and also restaurant reservations. Now you're gonna utilize this space for anything to do with money here on board. If you have questions about the room, 
your bill, or quite frankly, if you have just about any questions, they can answer them. But the secret here is that it's gonna get very busy on boarding day. It's usually pretty busy the evening before you disembark. So my recommendation is to get all your business done during the cruise so that you don't have to wait in any of those lines. You have this beautiful stained glass mural on the top here, continuing on with that America theme. And then I did wanna point out that on boarding day, they'll usually set up the specialty restaurant, the spa, all of that down here so that you can peruse and get your questions answered. Now, I wanted to point out right here that they do have a partnership with Park West Galleries. So if you wanna do some art auctions on board, not only is it uh, very educational, you can answer, the, they can ask you, answer your questions for you, but it's also where you can purchase art from some of our favorites. You got Peter Max right there in the distance. Now heading around the corner is Taylor's home away from home, and this is the John Adams Coffee Bar. Of course, it's paying homage to the third president here. You've got the coffee grown straight from Braintree, Massachusetts. No, just kidding, that's where he's from. I don't think they can grow coffee anywhere in Massachusetts, but guess where you can grow some incredible coffee? Right here in Hawaii. They've got a beautiful selection for you to choose from. It's a really nice social space. So you've got seating areas wrapped all the way around there. You're gonna find that there's a full bar and they're gonna provide service all around the lower level here. Now wrap just around the corner, you're gonna find that they have different kinds of sweet treats. They usually do have some complimentary options. They also have some for purchase here. In fact, those macaroons are calling my name. Now there's some great retail options here on board. The first stop is the Kai shop. So what is you're gonna find in here is all of your favorite Aloha gear, different clothing items, bathing suits, things that you might've forgotten at home, or you just wanna to upgrade to a very comfortable wardrobe. In fact, they even have some moo's in here. It's a really great way to breathe. Now, what you're gonna find here is that you've got all kinds of options as I mentioned. In addition to that, across the way, you're gonna have another shop where you're gonna find different articles, maybe souvenirs that you could purchase from Hawaii itself, some sundries and items that you may have left at home. Now, in addition to the clothing and the souvenirs, they also have a really nice large jewelry shop. In fact, you can take advantage of the pearl factory here where you can try to get an oyster with a pearl in it. They have a wide variety of all kinds of different watches, necklaces, and of course, any type of jewelry. Now, as we continue along, you'll find a little bit more of that on this side as well. This is a little bit more of the higher end. So you're gonna find fine jewelry options, sundry items, clothing, and all your Hawaiian favorites. Now we're inside the photo gallery, and what you're gonna see here are a ton of screens. This is the new way that photos are done on cruise ships. You're gonna take your cruise card. Now they're gonna take pictures throughout your time here on board, if you'd like. It's always optional. You can take pictures, boarding, different meals, excursions, things along those lines. And then of course you can purchase them. And the way you do it is you'll tap your cruise card here. All your photos will come up. In fact, you see behind me those bookcases all along. That's a legacy from when they used to print every single picture. It used to be a big part of the cruise experience where you'd come back in and try to find it and pick the perfect one. Now they also have quite a few retail options here. You can see that they have options from Nikon and Leica and Canon. So you can purchase a camera, a GoPro. Maybe you need to get another battery or you need to fill up another SD card. You can purchase all of those here. Hey, look, it's my favorite band, the Monkees. Ah, they're always monkeying around anyway. Now, in addition to that, you're gonna find the Perspectives Photo Studio. Now, what you do on vacation is usually find those perfect family photos. Now, you might get those in a candid way, but you may also wanna set that up to bring the family together. Now, this is where you can do it. You can set a time and purchase the photos. You can do all kinds of different packages. They'll even print them for you and ship them if you'd like. But this is all about getting that perfect family memory to last a lifetime, and maybe even the perfect Christmas card picture. Now on all cruise ships, you're gonna find a place where they have plaques for the different places they visited. Now there's some more here on board, but I wanted to point this out because this ship is so incredibly unique. It was built specifically for Hawaii. In fact, you've got the House of Representatives, there's a declaration here talking specifically about the fact that they got special approval to sail in Hawaii to have the US crew, but more importantly, to have a US flag behind it. That means that you can now visit all of your favorite ports in Hawaii without heading down to Kiribati, to the West Coast, or over to Asia. Now, I also wanted to point out here that you've got some great decor, some fun bits. I definitely recommend that you stop by and read about it. There's a ton of great history here on board. Now we're inside the classic cruise venue, the main theater. Here on board, it's called the Hollywood Theater. It's all stadium style. So one thing that's a little bit different, you don't have another deck that's a little bit higher. What you see here is what you have. And what I like about that is there's really not a bad seat in the house. So it's all stadium style seating, starting at the top, going all the way down here. It actually covers two, two and a half decks, if you will. And right at the front, you're gonna find the main stage. 
So that's where you're gonna find the different style productions. They'll oftentimes also bring people on board to entertain as well. A lot of it theming in with Hawaii. You can imagine they should, some Polynesian dancers and different activities here. In addition to that, this is where they're gonna do different lectures where you can learn about the areas that you're visiting. And it's really a multi-purpose room. They can use it for just about anything from entertainment to education. First off, I wanted to say thank you so much for joining us here today on board the beautiful Pride of America. It is truly a one-of-a-kind ship, and it's a one-of-a-kind Hawaiian island experience. They do an amazing job with it, and we know that your heart travel advisor will help you pick the perfect option for you. Whether it's the incredible Hawaiian music that you're gonna to listen to, all the dining options, learning new things like maybe how to hula, make a lei, or whatever it is that you're looking for, this ship is the ultimate way to visit Hawaii. And when you're ready to book, make sure you reach out to Hard Travel. We know that we can help craft the cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value, and get the Hard Travel signature service every step of the way.